Guys, imagine a world where personal transportation is completely revolutionized. Yes, just picture it having a device that offers freedom, agility and an incredibly exciting ride. Sounds cool, right? Well, sadly, this technology once existed, but it failed. So why did this advanced invention fail to capture the attention of people? What went wrong with the self-balancing personal transportation device called the Segway? Join me today to find out as we look into this fascinating and often overlooked part of transportation history, and let's uncover the mystery surrounding the Segway. With that said, let's dive in. The Segway has undoubtedly left its mark on the world of transportation and technology as a remarkable, self-balancing personal transportation device. Using sensors and gyroscopes, it keeps the rider balanced by detecting their movements. You can control the Segway effortlessly by shifting your weight, leaning forward to go faster and leaning backward to slow down or stop. The smart mechanism provides a smooth and stable ride, revolutionizing personal transportation. What makes the Segway unique is its sleek design with a central platform and two large wheels. It's not only stable but can also navigate different terrains easily. Its compact size and maneuverability make it perfect for crowded cities and short trips. Segway Incorporated introduced various models to meet different user needs. The original Segway personal transporter gained attention for its cutting-edge technology. Later models like the Segway i2 and X2 were designed for urban and off-road use, offering improved stability and extra features like cargo attachments. Continuing their innovation, Segway Incorporated released more compact models like the Segway Mini Pro and the Segway 9Bot series. These models cater to commuters, recreational riders and tourists. With app connectivity, customizable LED lighting and longer battery life, these newer Segway versions took the experience to new levels. When the Segway was revealed to the public, it caused quite a stir in the media and got everyone buzzing with anticipation. Back in December 2001, when it made its debut, the Segway's unique design and its promise of revolutionizing how people get around cities captured people's imaginations. It became the talk of the town, with news outlets from around the world dedicating extensive coverage to this groundbreaking transportation device, fueling curiosity and creating a wave of excitement. Amidst all the media hype, the Segway was hailed as a potential game-changer in urban transportation. People saw it as a solution to the problems of traffic congestion, pollution and the everyday headaches of commuting. They envisioned a future where Segways seamlessly blended into our daily lives, providing a convenient and eco-friendly alternative for short trips. With its impressive self-balancing technology and easy-to-use controls, the Segway seemed poised to completely transform the way we navigate cities. Despite the hype surrounding this innovation, Segway failed! One of the main reasons why the Segway didn't catch on with the masses was its high price. When it first came out, the Segway was priced as a luxury item rather than an affordable mode of transportation for everyday people. This steep price tag made it hard for many potential buyers to justify the investment, resulting in limited sales and popularity. The Segway also faced challenges due to regulations and restrictions. In some places, it was classified as a motor vehicle, which meant it had to follow specific road rules and regulations. This limited its use in pedestrian areas and made it difficult for riders to navigate certain urban environments. These regulations hindered the Segway's potential as a convenient and efficient means of transportation. Perception played a big role in the Segway's lack of mass appeal. Despite its technological advancements, many people saw the Segway as more of a recreational or niche device rather than a practical mode of daily commuting. Its association with tourism, security personnel and mall patrols reinforced the idea that it was more of a novelty item than a serious transportation option for the general public. This perception held it back from gaining wider popularity and integrating into everyday life. Cultural and social factors also posed challenges for the Segway. In some cultures, there was a stigma attached to using the Segway due to concerns about its appearance and how it was perceived. Some people viewed it as awkward or even lazy, which made potential users hesitant to adopt it as a viable transportation choice. Overcoming these cultural and social barriers proved to be a significant obstacle for the Segway to become widely accepted. Segway's struggle for mass appeal Segway Incorporated understood the importance of appealing to a broader audience, so they expanded their product lineup with different models to cater to diverse consumers. The Segway Personal Transporter, or Segway PT, their flagship product, was initially designed for urban commuting and personal mobility. 
Its stylish design, user-friendly controls, and impressive range made it popular among tech enthusiasts and early adopters. To reach a larger market, Segway Incorporated introduced specialized models. The Segway X2 was designed for off-road adventures and outdoor exploration. With its rugged construction, ability to handle all terrains, and improved stability, the X2 appealed to outdoor enthusiasts, security personnel, and individuals who needed reliable transportation in rough environments. In addition to diversifying its products, Segway Incorporated invested in marketing campaigns to position the Segway as a viable alternative to traditional transportation options. They emphasized its eco-friendly nature, highlighting reduced carbon emissions and decreased traffic congestion. Segway Incorporated showcased how effortlessly the Segway could navigate urban areas, making it a convenient choice for short commutes and city living. Furthermore, Segway Incorporated formed strategic partnerships to increase Segway's visibility and appeal. Collaborations with tour operators and attractions allowed people to experience the Segway firsthand, showcasing its efficiency and fun. These partnerships not only exposed the Segway to a wider audience, but also provided valuable feedback for future improvements. The company's marketing efforts extended beyond recreation, aiming to position the Segway as a practical transportation option for businesses and organizations. They targeted security agencies, highlighting the device's mobility, versatility, and potential to improve operational efficiency. Segway Incorporated also explored partnerships with delivery services and logistics companies, promoting the Segway as an efficient solution for last-mile delivery and urban mobility challenges. However, Segway's lack of widespread popularity teaches us valuable lessons that apply to both entrepreneurs and consumers. The most important lesson is the significance of market research and understanding what consumers truly want. Despite its impressive technology, the Segway's high price and limited practicality didn't align with the needs and desires of the general public. Timing also played a crucial role in the Segway's journey. It entered the market when existing transportation options were well established and widely accepted. Without a clear advantage over traditional modes of transportation, it struggled to find its place in the market. Effective marketing and branding are also essential, as Segway's failure highlights. Despite its unique features, the Segway couldn't create a compelling narrative that resonated with a wide range of consumers. The messaging focused too much on its technological capabilities and failed to communicate the practical benefits or address potential social and cultural barriers. Although the Segway didn't succeed commercially, its impact on the personal transportation industry cannot be underestimated. It sparked innovation and inspired advancements in the field. The self-balancing technology pioneered by the Segway paved the way for electric scooters, hoverboards and other micromobility devices that are now commonly seen in cities. Furthermore, the Segway influenced public discourse about transportation alternatives. It challenged traditional thinking and raised important questions about the future of urban mobility, leading to discussions about sustainability, congestion, and the potential for transformative transportation solutions. While the Segway itself didn't achieve mass adoption, its technologies and concepts have found applications in various industries. For example, the advanced gyroscopic stabilization system used in Segways has been adopted for robotics, improving stability and maneuverability in different applications. Additionally, the Segway's influence can be seen in the development of electric mobility platforms used in warehouses, airports, and other industrial settings. These platforms inspired by the Segway's design provide efficient and agile transportation for workers, enhancing productivity and reducing physical strain. Alright guys, that wraps up our video for today. Hope you enjoyed learning about the interesting history, innovations and challenges of the Segway. Thank you for sticking to the end. Before we go, please remember to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more captivating content like this.